It's only been f days, and without having to do too much, my Threads account sits at around 5,700 followers and hundreds of engagements. So let's talk about Threads' genius go-to-market strategy, their growth hacks, their UI, and what the future holds for it. Now, context first. If you've been living under a rock, Threads is Meta's new Twitter competitor, a very simple app that allows you to quickly share your thoughts in text format. It was only last week when Zuck challenged Elon to a bloody cage fight. I assumed it would be a Brazilian jiu-jitsu match because they both trained in this art, but now I'm thinking maybe Zuck wasn't referring to a BJJ fight. Instead, he was insinuating a fight for the leading text-led social media platform. Hmm, so maybe this is the fight. He's tweeting about this right now. <laughs> now, jokes aside, let's talk about threads. First off, the GTM strategy. In other words, the go-to market strategy was hella smart. It was so well-timed and designed. But let me fill you in on the context first. If you've already forgotten, Twitter was acquired by Elon on October 22nd, 2022. Since then, Twitter went through major job cuts and the team have implemented some significant changes. However, the sentiment around the platform has been quite uncertain, which I believe Zuck saw an opportunity. But since Twitter is the only one of its kind, a lot of people still stick around because there's no other option. Since Threads is a direct competitor to Twitter, they knew their user base would be vulnerable. What I noticed was that Meta infiltrated the Twitterverse, starting with partnerships or a beta program with accounts with high influence. And they manufactured hype curiosity, and FOMO within the Twitter community. Now, my first encounter was seeing numerous tweets about people creating a new account, sharing a screenshot of their profile, but not really mentioning the threads.net. But if you look carefully, why would you need to when the screenshot states threads.net itself? Now, I think this part was so smart of Meta. Dare do I say, I think Meta knew this would happen. I think it was all part of their Mark Star plan. Intentionally designing the threads.net pill in the profile, so it's in the screenshot, which means Elon and the Twitter team would find it very difficult to silence tweets mentioning threads.net because they can't easily detect tweets with the word or domain. Touché. Now let's talk about the growth hack of the f***ing century. You thought Robinhood did a crazy job on growth hacking their subscriber count into the hundreds of thousands with a cool invite friend program. Well, Meta just raised it by a hundred times by tapping into their billions of users and onboarding them onto a new social platform within just two taps. Oh, and if you didn't have an Instagram account but wanted a Threads one, nah. -uh you will have to create an IG account to sign up for Threads. They win either way. Now, when it comes to the UI, I personally love the logo and how it refreshes. I also like how they've designed the UI to make the app feel like it's more active. The fact they have three profile photos to show the three most recent profiles that engaged with a thread makes the app feel like there's just a lot of people interacting. Aside from that, I feel like the app looks pretty clean and easy to use. But let's remember, it's only the first version, so we can expect a lot more features coming soon. The one thing I don't really like about the UI and the overall experience is that I don't follow anyone right now, but my feed is filled with irrelevant threads. I know they are trying to manufacture the perception of engagement and activity, but it's a little too random. However, I think this approach also gives the opportunity to see what I might like, depending on what I'm engaging with. When it comes to threads versus Twitter, I think there's not too much I can say right now, aside from the fact that they are pretty similar. But one thing I have noticed is that the activity and engagement is much higher on threads over Twitter. I am just speaking from my own personal experience, but every thread I'm sharing is getting more likes and comments. Now, there are plenty of reasons on why this might be happening. It could be the hype, and it's where everyone is spending most of their time right now. It could be that my Twitter account is four years old, and it's just accumulated a ton of followers that aren't really active or engaging much. It's hard to pinpoint what it is, 
but I can say if Threads can maintain this activity and engagement, I think I'd be open to bringing my community over to Threads. Now, will Threads kill Twitter? I don't think so. The ocean is big enough for two text-led social media platforms. However, I do think Twitter does have a bit of a negative stigma to it. I can't speak on behalf of everyone in terms of what they think about Twitter, but how Elon markets Twitter is that it's all about free speech. The platform gets tangled up in a lot of political discussions and whatnot. I feel like Threads is positioned towards creators. Creators that want to extend their community from just photos and video on Instagram to a platform where they can share their thoughts as well. As you can see, technically they both offer the same thing, but from a product positioning point of view, I think they'll attract different audiences. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is Meta doing behind the scenes? Because they're always doing something, right? Something like Meta clearly states in their terms and conditions that you can delete your Threads account, but you must delete your assigned Instagram account to do so. That's hell cheeky. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But back to the topic around the elephant in the room. It's all business. Meta is expanding their product suite to continuously grow their revenue. That's why they exist. So with that in mind, will ads creep into threads? Maybe. Or maybe it's used as a proxy to continuously learn more about us, to feed into their ad engine. Either way, it's growing their ad platform, which generated them $113 billion in 2022. But I can also see how threads can genuinely help creators. Instagram has always been a visual platform and it's helped a lot of visual creators grow their audiences. But that doesn't mean that they don't have written content that they want to share as well. I'm sure there's a lot of content they can continue to give to the communities. This is where threads can really add value. Instead of having to start from scratch with Twitter, bringing your audiences seamlessly from IG into threads could be the way to go. I haven't done anything and I've already got 5,700 followers and the audience is so much more active. So it's been one week, over one week since I've created my Threads account. And right now, as you can see, we have 6,840 followers. I've practically done nothing. And you can see people are just following even three hours ago, two hours ago. And every thread that I'm posting is getting similar or sometimes even more engagements than my tweets on Twitter. So I think that Threads is definitely pushing out content for, for content creators, but we'll have to see where this ends up. And um, I'm wearing this because I'm about to head snowboarding. Now let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts about Threads? And if you like this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the diehard fans, and if you want to continue learning, you should definitely check out this video. And with that said, I'll see you in another video very soon.